All right, everybody. Pre-release time. In a shred. Been at hunt. I got Craig with here here with me. As uh, Matt so well put it uh, earlier this week, I am going to open some bombs in white, black, and red, and then proceed to uh, smash together a Simic deck. So that's what we're going to try to do tonight. Awesome. <laughs> How does it open like? Oh, Three or four of those zombies that make two zombies. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then like the one that taps and makes him lose life. And then he's gonna be like, mm, I got no good cards in black, so I might as well force Simic. Seems right. Seems about right. Ooh, I'll probably just show that code out well. Alright, alright, what do we get? I got ooh, that's not a bad one. Fateful absence. Sure target creature or planeswalker, its controller investigates for two and an instant. Oh yeah, that's solid. In white, but I do like the colors first. It's, it's not. It's not in my Simic colors. Oh, uh, colors first. X two two black zombie creature tokens with decayed, where X is half the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Round oh, nice. up. Nice. So then we got the day night token yeah, and a couple of. Uh, we used to be the checklist cards, but now they're the uh, MDFC. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. Hey, who knew? I also have a day night token. Oh, oh yeah, three of, and uh, three of those cards. <laughs> huh. Funny. It's weird how that happened. Alright, I didn't even finish watching the spoiler. Kind of so. I didn't. I'm normally really good about it. Oh, it's okay. I got the wool. I've only opened two minutes. My rear was a few minutes. Hungry for more, yeah. Unnatural Moonrise, huh? I got Unnatural Growth. Double double power and toughness of each creature you pull the other turn. And that is that like that kind of looks like a fancy foil etchy mountain or something. I don't know. I don't know if every land is like that. We get a vampire token. To find out if all the lands are like that, they've got like this. Card quality is pretty good. Do I need these for today? See the the red though is like a like kind of shiny. Is that no, two so like four? Yeah, if you're dual play that turn. I don't know. Yeah, first pack. <laughs> Natural growth also. Nice. nice. See, are yours? Oh yeah, that one's like that too. So it must just be where are, the lands are. I wonder if all the basics are gonna be like. Pretty yeah. Push. Pretty cool. I'm sure they are. Unless it's nighttime, that was my That's their two. Unruly mob. Yeah, it's got that same. Uh, it's not really etching, but yeah. no, it, like on the Zendikar expedition, mm -hmm. but the piping. Champion of the parish. All right, some zombies, and ooh, foil mythic. We got a foil sunstreak phoenix. <laughs> day or night becomes day as I just back you, and when it comes. Whatever day becomes night or night becomes day, pay two and do some stuff. One more thing to keep track of. Yeah. <laughs> See how many zombies we got. Here's the uh, my first one of these, especially Don Heart Rejuvenator. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, all right. That's not bad. Spells can't be countered here. You chance of sorcery in your graveyard is flat. I got a curse of surveillance. Oh, you have to sack it after. For five manas, I can draw a card every turn. Whew. Seems like a great rate. <laughs> Might have a bunch of zombies here. Right of Oblivion. Exile target non-land permit. You got a sack of non-land permit. All right, that's fine. Uh, suspicious stowaway. All right, can't be blocked. Whenever just combat damage, draw a card, and discard a card, and stay bound. Got this thing here, and then I got a foil tireless caller. This thing here. Lots of cards to read. That's I haven't read a single card yet. I got the champion. Uh, it's not the white What human? It's the zombie. It's this is the thing. Congrats, you the Why does my swamp? Is that what it is? Champion of the perished. Yeah. Nice. Why does my swamp look purple? It it is. It's <laughs> yeah, very clearly purple. Hey, 
You know that rumor Watsi was going to add purple mana to the game. I know, oh, I heard about it. Is. <laughs> they got us. This card I love. I think this card's really cool. Ominous Rune. Whenever you cast a spell from your graveyard, make a burb. This card. Really Jelly Block, so like I can, Oh! This is the other card. Remember we were talking about names? Yeah, the, the name for the one dragon or whatever. This is Storm Skrillex. That thing was a. Storm Skrillex. I have one pack. I have one pack. You can feel it like a shame. Ant, stay away. Return to a creature card, main value three or less for your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains this creature die, exile it, and a flashback. Alright, that seems pretty good. Did we get black white zombies? Um, is that a thing? It might be. I got the day card. Black white zomboys. Now they're showcase or something, whatever you call it. Are they blue? No. Wait, you have blue and red and purifying red. dragon. That's not horrible. Uh, ooh, Sarath the Viper's Fang, in the, oh, no, in the, uh, showcase thing, right? <laughs> tap creatures should throw out death, other tap creatures should throw out death touch, other untap creatures should have hex proof. I can play Simic now. Yep. And that was right on. We all knew it was gonna happen. Yep, yep. So yeah, Jack o' Lantern. Silver Bolt. That stuffed bear. I like that. Seems pretty good for uh, limited. Totally put a white card in the blue pile. But let's see. I was digging some of the blue black zombies. Ooh. It looked pretty. So let's see how how does uh, Champion of the Parish read here? Whenever a zombie enters battle under control, put a one counter on Champion of the Parish. And I got three, four zombies. White probably doesn't have zombies, right? Blue does. I don't see any. Faithful Absence is really good. Yeah. There's a lot of decent removal in it. Blue. Mm. Man, I definitely play like we might be playing blue black zombies. Hmm. Kind of digging on that. So we've got return. Rick has instant sorcery, right of oblivion. Maybe on some vampires though too, because hmm. Only the good card, please. Create a through one black red vampire with trample likely case so it would be an X instead of flashback. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. I thought Garrison had the trash can literally. A foot away from him. Yeah, it's over <laughs> on that side though. Not over there. Go pile of trash. Yeah. Normally I put it in there, don't give me that. No, I said I like it. Oh. Yeah, you're I wasn't giving you crap at all. Totally giving me crap. Totally giving me crap. 
Ooh. That seems pretty good. It's a 3 2 with trample for 3 and day bound. And it's a 4 4 with trample and night bound. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kills one. So you, so you have to have if yeah. it's neither day nor night, you have to have something. It doesn't that triggers day bound or night bound, correct? Yes. To start off, the, like to start off the process. Is that correct? What? Well, day yeah. bound. If says, you have, if it's neither day nor night, you have to have somebody has to have something with day bound or night bound I, to start that process. All of the cards that care about day or night. Day or night bound, yes, yes, except there's a couple instants like, yeah, uh, I, I thought this one it becomes night, yeah, like this just there's says, it cars, like, like natural yeah. this is it becomes yeah, but any night, permanent yeah. that you play that cares is also bounded, right? Well, yeah, this, well, that's what I was just saying. So it's like, because this is like it's haste, it's just, just this day bound, so when it enters, it becomes if, day if it's not, anything. if it's not already night or day right that's that's what i was getting yeah. at was this like so the game starts off as like it's not night or day yeah well and that's the reason I was, so like this one says day bound the player cast no spells just remember it says this one says if it's neither day nor night it becomes day mm. so that's what i was asking this is like do you have to play so like it's not night or day so not every card makes it day or day, day bound or night but yeah because i know if it's like if it's night bound or if it's night a creature enters as a nightbound creature. Yeah. These are arena mechanics, 100%. Very much. <laughs> we'll I have haven't to, even read the is, primer yet. The day nightbound is going to have to take some getting used to. Yeah. Yeah. Although, I gotta say, so far, I, mean, I like the fact that there is a zombie bird. Uh, zombie bird? Zombie bird. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. So, like, I caught it for the back side. Does it get turned around when it becomes dead? Yeah, so whenever it's in any zone other than the back. Yeah, so it will always be decided. No, no, not in the graveyard. So, like, I play the disturb. Yeah, so I don't think this field. really has a good place in well, it. Uh, mm, yeah, of, it might uh, it's not a lot of counters. Really no, because no, it doesn't have a day bound. I'm going to say that now, okay. but. Wayne, I don't know. There's not a whole ton that actually like in green that makes me want to play uh, unnatural growth. Green, yeah, that. <laughs> Which is, I mean, if you're gonna play that, it's five mana. Yeah. I feel like realistically you need to be in mono green. Mono green, probably, yeah. Maybe in like black red here. Let's, let's, let's take a look at what we got. I think potentially be playable here. So, yeah, it's, it's not fading this. That's some zombies that we'll be playing like zombie vampires. That's honestly where I'm at.
doesn't seem believable. You can trigger from your graveyard to your hand, but it will encounter uh, the one target zombie you control. Crawl from the center. Okay. Olivia's Midnight Ambush. Target creature is minus 2, minus 2 until turn. If it's night, it gets minus 13, minus 13 instead. Nice. I'm going through the release notes. <laughs> it's so... It's weird. It's absolutely a thing that they tried on Arena. Paper. It's going to lead to a lot of long games. So it says... Games, probably. Day and night are designations that the game itself can have. The game starts as neither. Once the game becomes day, or less commonly night, the game will be exactly one of them, day or night, going back and forth for the rest of the game. Double face cards with day bound and night bound care a lot about this. As long as it's day, the face with day bound will be face up on the battlefield. And then as long as it's night, the face with night bound will be face up on the battlefield. So if a day bound permanent enters and it is neither, does it become day? Yes. Well, I'm I'm still reading. But oh, yeah, I think sorry. So. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. There's still what I said at the still, beginning of the game. There's still yeah, 45 still, pages of text. Here, here's the best part so far because I'm on paragraph three. Double face cards with day bound and night bound are transforming double face cards. They can be cast only face up. In most cases, they'll first appear on the battlefield face up. If it's neither day nor night, and a permanent with day bound appears on the battlefield, it becomes day. Other abilities can also become it can cause it to become day or night, such as this card's second ability. I don't think I can play Black Red. So I'm trying to read if it's night and you cast a daybound creature, does if it's, it enter it just as enters the back side? It, 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 enters, it enters as a night side. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah, that part. I read that. If you play a thing and it's yeah, I, I love the, how this ruling is worded. Yeah, like the wording is not the, the best. You didn't even let me read it. Oh, I thought you just meant the. Like, no, I love how this wording is written. Oh. Yeah, but then wording like, is. You play so before a player untaps their permanence during the untap step, the game checks to see if day night de designation should change. How's that work in paper? Game is a living entity now. <laughs> I don't know how you would do that with like judge calls. Right, like who's at fault for missing it? Oh, Just don't miss it. Both players, both you players both get a warning. Probably. Oh, I want to force that. If it is day, the active player of the previous turn casts no spells. During their turn, it becomes night. If it is night, and the active player of the previous turn casts two or more spells, it becomes day. I feel like it sounds more complicated than it is. I think the complicated part will be like when you go, wait, did I cast two spells? Or did you cast two spells and I cast one spell? Was it my turn? How many yeah. times do you like Okay, but how do, how many times do you go through like this really, really convoluted combat step and then you're like, okay, your turn and you're like well, okay, it was my your turn. That, that's not really that different from like <laughs> yeah. the, like I guess like you'd have to remember even when it's not werewolf since it's on the battlefield though, which is a little weird. Because it can keep flipping back and forth when there's yeah. nothing that's getting affected by it. It's okay, there's really not. There's, there's not it's, enough stuff in Magic. Again, magic it's just a mechanic that Arena can track much easier for you, and yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. I mean, like, those, like, weird, like, actually side mechanics, they were, like, six plus things. It's like, right. I'm like, oh, I guess I have it, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I guess I need to put stuff right? in there. Is it seven? I don't even remember. Ten permanents? Stuff, stuffy bear. I feel like it makes, like, that makes the uh, and better. Are we supposed or else they bound and I bound to play a lot better than this guy's great. Like, I'm waiting for people to be like, oh, I forgot to flip that last turn, but now you can't go back and redeclare your attacker, so I'll block. You know, like, the ruling things on it are definitely weird. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to be, like, really. You're going to be running. I actually speed. don't think it's as bad as, like, oh, previous things. Cool. I remember doing, like, or the Spark pre release at, at midnight. And like the static abilities on like turn one, discards two like cards. You create a two two black so zombie creature token with decay. Yes. You're gonna run that? No way out. Yeah. I thought about it. Very important things to remember at night. If you cast a spell with daybound during the night, 
the spell will be will be front face up, that is daybound face up on the stack. However, it will enter the battlefield with its back face up, that is, it is nightbound face up. It won't enter with its daybound face up and then transform. What? Nice. <laughs> nice. Say that again. I'm not. I'm the no spell longer. Spell you think is on the stack is not the spell that is on the stack. <laughs> what? It's a very convoluted way of saying yo. So it's trans. It enters transformed. transformed. Yes. <laughs> but if, I don't know if anything has a, a triggered ability when something transforms. Yeah. So if it's night, it enters nightbound. Yeah, but you cast it as the day side. But on, yeah, yeah on the it stack is the night side. Yeah. Awesome. So then, how does that interact with like counter target spell with X converted mana cost? Well, well the, on the stack, the backside like, wouldn't have a different CMC. Oh, so it would, it would still have yeah, the, the date. Spell, yeah. The, yeah, the spell on the stack would be the front side of it. Yeah, the back side's always the same CMC. Yeah, that was a rule change they made. All right, I think I I'm ready to make the worst looking deck. Well, I don't actually know. Just imagine that, like. We're gonna have some new global game state with the next Innistrad set. On top of this one. On top of this one. Yeah. That'd be like if a player lost life this turn, it becomes it coven. becomes a blood moon. No, <laughs> yeah, it's a blood moon. Everything's yeah. It's just like and if they blood gain moon. life, it it changes something back. It's just like a blood moon that cycles Ooh. between five colors. So I'm at twenty four, but I don't have much that like so like maybe they could win. I don't think. I have some spirits here. Whenever you cast a spell, for you. so what? you're gonna be casting a lot of spells from your green I'm looking. You have two disturbed spells. I got two disturbed spells on one flat. F3, so it's not worth it. I don't want to play this homun homunculus, though. Yeah. It was it's a, cool. It was a 1 4. I don't know how often that would flip from day to night, yeah, so on and so forth. So twenty, I have twenty four cards. It's like about perfect. And I tried multiple different combinations. At first, I thought it was going to be red black. I thought red and black was actually going to pair up very well. It was very strong. And I had like twelve cards. <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, that, that didn't work too well. I think it's already been concluded that like the zombies is the best way to go. Really? Yeah. I can't build that. Building the tier one deck already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, it's some spirit interaction too. So, I think that's fine. Oh, yeah. Right over here was like, first glance, he was like, I think I'm going to blue black zombies. Yeah, and, and then like, I realized I only had like four zombies. So, we're not doing that. Yeah, but the dude that says tap three creatures you control, they lose a life, doesn't require them to be zombies. Yeah, I, that's yeah. what I was reading. I like I saw that guy and I was like, I don't have that dude. At first I read it, I was like, tap three zombies. And I was like, wait a second, it does not say tap three yeah, zombies. Yeah. At first, the first time I read it, I read it as tap three zombies yeah, you control. So and then I read it again and I was like, wait a second. We're going to use our creatures. Yeah, better. and the yeah. five mana, is it three, four that makes two, two, twos? I didn't get that. What? No. It's a common. You opened your pool wrong. I, apparently. Yeah, he just happens to make three bodies on the way down. Nice. Yeah, I ended up getting... Uh, I got the... It's three mana. Opponent discards two cards. Make it 2-2. Two, two. It's like... This is okay. Is it a modal spell? What's it? No. 
That's so just it's just straight up better than my drive. Well, is yes, it, <laughs> yes. Is it like the Decay Two Two? It is the Decay Two Two. Still straight up better. <laughs> still than just mine. yeah. Well, okay. Just, there's so many things that are just better than mine drive. Yeah, but mine drop was like the sweet spot, like perfectly balanced card. Sure. Perfectly balanced, but like you just empty your hand. It's just completely yeah. useless. Oh, I I, I did get the even, uh, even lightning. I did get the three like, mana two two. Yeah, but that has like more mana constraint a little bit. Okay. Like it's it's the fair balanced card, yeah. like the gold standard for a discard card. Yeah. I got three mana two two. Well, like so saving up like going like that makes other Makes another zombie. So like it's got the cave. Two people talking to me. I have no idea what either one of you said. <laughs> I said I got three mana two two. With flying, Do you want to weigh in on this one, Jace? <laughs> the, the, the zombie is Zombies blue. can fly now? Yeah. And it makes it 2-2 two, two, zombie. Okay. Zombies can fly. We're yeah. not surviving the zombie a lot. There's it's, a zombie burp. It's a zombie burp. Yeah. yeah, see? Right here. See it? I mean, that's the <laughs> one thing that really keeps them going in The Walking Dead, is the fact that all the animals aren't zombies, too. Right. right. Not that I... I'm currently up to date on the walk. I haven't watched like the last four wow. seasons or so. I have eleven pips of both. No double colored spell. Like that seems no like double a really good main double base. Pips. And I've got uh, twenty four cards though. There's more people here. Mm-hmm. Yo, that means you gotta go. So the question is, do I run sixteen lands with three five drops and three four drops? Hey Pat, how's it going? Okay. We still just run Do you need that to help you figure your game? Yes, at the moment. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to not screw up my mana. Since so obviously 8 and 8, what do I want to be the... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I guess it's an extra swamp. So it's 9 swamps. 8. Islands. I gotta find it. Oh. That's like the, the longest part of this process. Just, so bring, I bring, 20 just bring your own. I really should bring. I bring 10 and it almost bit me one time. <laughs> gotta have your draft set of revised basics. So, 41 card just special to again. With white 41 card special. Mm -hmm. I think it's right. You're on a 12 of each land? No. No. Nine swamps. Eight is lands. I, this will probably go horrible. Love the confidence. <laughs> I mean, I should expect anything more. Didn't think so. I'm also pleased to announce to everybody that Matt is currently not the salty shopkeep. It's true. Yeah. Is. He's even wearing the unsalted yeah. shirt. I'm wearing the, un I wore the unsalted shirt to hopefully not be so salty. Yep, it's like we switched roles, except he still doesn't work here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I think, to be honest, neither one of us would want the other's job. No, you have to talk on the phone. A lot. Yeah, I don't call people ever. You also have to talk with a lot of people that you really don't want to talk to. You also... I'm in the room. <laughs> Sometimes they, you know, say stuff and you're just like, please no. Please, please no. <laughs> like fixing Brian's computer this week. Oh. That was the best. So the best part. When I was gone on vacation, his computer broke. And yes, Mark texted me and said, hey, Brian's computer seems to have a bad hard drive. You'll have to fix it when we get back. First thing Brian says to me when I'm back is, hey, Matt, do you have any plans on buying me a new computer? <laughs> like, how do you know that I know that your computer broke? You don't yeah. know. Oh, he knows. <laughs> and I was like, no, I have no plans on buying any new PCs yet. <laughs> yep. So I end up replacing the hard drive. Well, installing Windows on it, and as I turn it on to boot it, and plug it into his speakers and everything, his speakers are like max volume, and Cortana starts talking to him. And I turn the volume all the way down, and I set everything up, tell him it's ready to go, 
comes back like 10 minutes later and he's like, uh, Matt, can you look at my speakers? I don't, I, mean, like, I don't I think you looked them up. There's no volume. Like, and I was like, did you try turning the volume knob up? He was like, oh, no, I didn't. I'll go try that. Yep. Seems, seems legit. Problem was with the keyboard. Ah, I told somebody, <laughs> I told somebody <laughs> Sorry, that the problem was at, at the keyboard. keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> so I had, I had a text message this week and one of the guys, one of the texts was like, Hey, there's a there's an issue with the actual PC. Like one of the actual PCs, can we if you get him any key? Come out here. So I walk out there, and this tech has been around for a while. He actually knows what's going on. He knows if there's a problem. Let me know. So I walk out there. He's not the one at the the, the computer. It's one of the new guys. He's like, hey, he's like, whenever he logs in or he does this, it does that. It comes up with these these weird like errors on the screen. And I just looked at him and I go, do you ever think the problem's at the keyboard? <laughs> and I'm like two foot from the, the new kid that's standing there. He stops what he's doing, backs up, picks the keyboard up, <laughs> and looks at it. And the new technician's just standing there and he's like, kind of like looking at him sideways. <laughs> he's like, at the keyboard, not the keyboard. Yeah. And, and he's a kid, you know, he's, he's like 19, 20. Oh yeah, this keyboard's broke. And he was like... <laughs> The keyboard looks fine. Like, actually said it after he told him it was at the keyboard, not the keyboard. We're all doomed. And so, like, worst part about that, I had to actually explain to him what I meant. Yeah. He didn't even get it. But it was good. But it was good. But it was good. So, I was... I tell people it's user error all the time, and they don't understand that. ID 10T error. Yep. All right. So, we're at the beach. This was two weeks ago on our little vacation. And the beach has these big signs with numbers on them. You know, one, two, three, four. Uh, mm -hmm. Evenly spaced down so the beach. Not signs with big numbers, but big signs with numbers. Big signs. The number on the sign also happens to be large. But not big, like so, five digits. No, no. One number each. One through five. Beach sections. You know. So we get there, and we're ahead of the other members of our group, and my wife simply pulls out her phone and takes a picture and snaps a picture of the number four, texts it off to the group. Five minutes later, oh, magically, they all appear at the yeah. towel where we're sitting. So I'm chasing a seagull with my youngest and watching my <laughs> older boy fly a kite. Best part about the story right there. <laughs> and here comes this pack of young 20-something female girls. They're trying to find their friends. And she's on the phone as she walks past the giant number four to the giant number three about, oh, 25, 30 yards up the beach, maybe 40. She's, do you see the blue umbrella? I'm doing this. Can you see me? <laughs> and her friends are all just following. And I'm, and I said, that's it. We're doomed. We're absolutely doomed. Did you step in and give a hint? No. Go <laughs> by. And then I came back to the group. There are beach parkers. <laughs> I came back to the group and I saw my niece and my younger sister and I said, that's it. You guys, you have to save the world. It was, well, one of you has to become president. Because <laughs> otherwise, these people are going to do it. The on, Zoomer generation is doomed. On that note, I'm so going to end this video here since Craig is now still done. Recording. Oh, yeah. Nice. Story time. Yeah. Story time. Thanks. Yeah, that'll live forever. Be back for actual play.